as the bird, welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Some of you let me know that apparently we can talk to those two people by the Cephala Cave over here, like we did before. This is where we found a bunch of Misko's treasure stuff with the caves, uh, the cave, the chests, and the fierce deity stuff, but it seems like there might be more. If we talk to them again, maybe some other quests might get set up. That's where to find out, because as you can see, so what now? I think I've narrowed down where those old manuscripts could be referring to. Yeah, I'm sure of it. Oh. Way to go, Dak. You're a genius. Mm -hmm. Hmm? Sorry, what? Huh? Oh, come on. Can't we have one brotherly conversation without you listening in? Sorry. <laughs> yeah, we're not gonna tell you one word about the band at Misko's old manuscripts. <laughs> Prison, why? Why would you say that? Ah. I did it again, didn't I? Sorry, Dak. Oh. Eh, it's fine. The treasure's as good as ours, and this guy's guide never work out the riddles, even if we told him. Hey, buddy, want me to tell you what the manuscript said? Yeah, tell me. <laughs> Thing is, I'm not about to give that info up for free. I'll, it'll run you a hundred rupees. You got a deal? Mm. Pleasure doing business with you. Trust me, that was a steal. If you find the treasure, it'll be worth way more than a measly hundred rupees. There are three manuscripts. Which do you want to hear? The twins. Oh. All right then. <clears throat> I discovered the green clothes of a man who admired fairies and have hidden them away. Solve my riddle to find them anew. In West Nekluda stand, stand twin poised, or twins poised to duel. Each contains a cavern that faces the other. Show the little twin sign to the big twin to open the door to my treasure. Oh. That's what it says. <laughs> I bet your heads are really spinning after all that. An amateur like you probably has no idea where to even begin. Good thing we've already puzzled everything out, right, Dak? <laughs> I mean, you're welcome to try putting your little rookie brain to the test, but we've got those treasures in the back. So that is Misko's treasure, Twins Manuscript. Brothers Domadak in prison read you one of Misko's old manuscripts. It said, in West Nekluda stand twins poised to duel. Each contains a cavern that faces the other. Show the little twins sign to the big twin to open the door to my treasure. Solve the rid riddle to find the treasure. I'll do that one soon, but first we got some more uh, oh. riddles to hear. Dak, the guy's back. Well. What is it? Want me to tell you what another manuscript said? Or do you want me to refresh your memory on one you've already heard? Tell me a new one. <laughs> you know the deal. It's 100 rupees per manuscript. Cough them up. You got a deal. Oh. Always a pleasure. There are two left. Which one's next? The Pirate oh. Cavern. Sure thing. Listen close. I discovered the green clothes of a man who admired fairies and have hidden them away. Solve my riddle to find them anew. A forgotten pirate cavern lurks at the foot of Cape Kells, overlooking the Nekluda Sea. The short, shrill song of wind through lips will open the way to my treasure. That's it. Did you already solve the riddle from the first old manuscript? You only get one at a time, that's the rule. We've already solved both of these other ones, haven't we, Dak? <laughs> Naturally, there's no riddle that can't be solved once it falls into my hands. The one I gave you was pretty easy, though. If you think long and hard about it, you might be able to figure it out. <laughs> so now we have Visco's treasure, pirate manuscript. So of course, once again, they gave us that quote, that riddle, solve the riddle to find the treasure, and then one more, right? Ah. Dak, the guy's back. Uh. What is it? Want me to tell me, tell you what that another manuscript said? Yeah, okay. Tell me anyone the last one. You know the deal, it's 100 rupees per manuscript. Cough them up. Mm. Always a pleasure. This is the last one. Oh. Okay, listen up and focus. I discovered the green clothes of a man who admired fairies and have hidden them away. Solve my riddle to find them anew. Statues of the eight heroines reside in the desert. Enter the valley carved in Tamar's descent. A shine and shine the light of day upon the towering eighth. The path th to the treasure will open before you. Ah. The end. Ah. Not gonna lie, this one's a real doozy of a riddle. It's hard to solve from the manuscript alone. But I'll tell you the answer, if you want. Uh? Prison, no. no. It was a joke, Dak. So Misko's Hidden Treasure, Heroine's Manuscript. I think we'll start with the Twins Manuscript and rake away out from there. But that was pretty cool. So I don't know if we'll get much of a hint from them. As I said, they don't want to give that to me. Uh, so we'll go and try to figure that out and see what kind of treasure we can get apparently of yeah. 
Somebody who dresses in green, who loves fairies. I think we can piece together who that might be, but uh, let's find out. So the first one, reading it again, in West Nakluta stands twins poised to duel. Each contains a cavern that faces the other. Show the little twins sign to the big twin to open the door to my treasure. So when it comes to Nakluta, that's down here. I'm pretty sure it's talking about the twin peaks, the dueling peaks. So there should be a cavern facing one another. So I'd imagine it's on this inner part. Let's go looking for it. Okay, so I decided to take a quick nap at the stable, not only to get some extra hearts, but because it was raining and I didn't want to try to climb the peaks when it's raining. I do see over here, you. Here, let me get into my sinky gear because I'm pretty sure I don't have these guys photographed. Just like that. And I sneak back up. Oh yeah, common sparrow, pictured. Very cool. So, wait, did that not count? I don't know if that counted. How close did they get to these things? Did that count, please? I don't think it did. What is with this game? Come on, what was that? There, <laughs> the common sparrow, please. There we go, out of the Hyrule Compendium. But we got it. We can get pretty close to them too and we can be this sneaky. Really, really close. Hi. You could get right next to it, weird. All right, well now I can get up here, we can climb up the mountain. It just I couldn't before because it was just raining. So glad that we did what I did. Now I just need to get to the top. Okay, I'm gonna try to make this fast because it looks like it's about to start raining again, but I'm just trying to look up and down this whole mountain to see if we can find any kind of cave or entrance. Because it would be one is facing the other, right? So it would probably be on this inside part. That would make the most sense. It's just such a huge cave system that finding that exactly might prove to be difficult. I'd imagine going up there might prove useful as well. Uh, because I'm not seeing too much on this side, I'll go ahead and fly over. And this might also be a good opportunity to change into this gear and continue climbing. All right, go, go, go. We'll get up here as soon as we can. And I know that it looked like there's a Korok seed up here. Yes, there is. Do I just have to give this a pull? Oh, I see, I attach it here, and then I pull this off the side of the mountain, right? There it goes, <laughs> uncorked. All right, I found you, yep. Now, down that way. Could that be it? It doesn't seem like it. If I could just try to find my way up from here though, maybe I could find some kind of entrance. It's tough so far, but there's gotta be a lead somewhere around here that we can sort of follow through with. As rain's about to come in. I mean, there is over here a way to ascend, so that might make it easier. But we just have to explore on the dueling peaks and we'll figure it out eventually, right? So, go this way. And I think, let me check around the corner really fast. It doesn't look like there's anything over here. So yeah, we'll just ascend up the side. Just like that. Just like that, perfect. And then once we're all the way up here, it's not so bad. We can just climb with the rest of it. And we're at least a lot closer to the top. But the question still sort of remains, where is the entrance to any kind of cave. Maybe up there. Just sort of have to keep running around and see what we find. I'll let that restore. Really hard to tell from this angle if there's anything up there. But over here isn't looking super fruitful either. Hmm. When we're just scaling around a mountain that's this huge, it can certainly be tough. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. There's one. But where is the other? Is that a... Okay, I already found that Korok. <laughs> Just chill it out up there. Uh, good question on where the other one is, but we can go into here for sure. Whoa, discovery, we have found something. Dueling Peaks South Cave. Cool. So I do see this big guy. He looks like he wants to fight, huh? All right, let's see what you got. Come on, come on, stick that tongue out. He's gonna spit a rocket us first, I think, maybe. Come on, there it is. Gotcha. 
So you'll drop a treasure chest. No arrows though, that's okay. Inside, we'll get an eightfold long blade. Don't really need it, so I will leave that there. I will grab the uh, like like stone and just continue climbing to see what else we can find. So here is, ah, I see. Whoa. Oh. Uh, interesting. So let's read that clue again. Uh, show the little twin's sign to the big twin to open the door to my treasure. What I'm thinking that means is that in a cave in the other side, it will sort of tell me the answer. It'll tell me the sign. So if we could get to the top of here like this and then just fly to the other cave, that'd probably be the best case scenario. The problem for me right now is trying to find out where that is. Okay, well, can probably just leave from here, just like that. And that, this is the bigger one. Oh, hey, definitely haven't done this Korok seed though. So I would like to try this one. This should fit in pretty simply, right? Uh, like this, maybe? Oh, no, wait like this. There we go, awesome. There's a quick Korok, Korok seed for us. Yay! Definitely need to cast some more of those in soon. That's 22. And my hope is that it's down here somewhere. You know, so far I haven't seen it. Could it be down here? Sometimes it's just hard to see, but Unfortunately, no, it's not looking like it, but it could be over on this side. Just because, you know, the caves are facing each other in terms of the mountain, it might not be that the caves themselves are near each other. So if I could just head down here, maybe we can discover it. If not down here, then somewhere for sure. While the rain is still going on, it's not gonna be going on forever. Okay, not much luck on this side. That's unfortunate. I can try to change to the froggy gear really quickly. It won't be perfect. Maybe I'll have time later today to uh go and upgrade all of our stuff. But I can at least do that. Then I can go up here. Just try to climb this a little bit. I know we still can't run up it too much, but okay. <laughs> Ah, the rain is always the worst. This reminds me of some of the struggles we used to have in Breath of the Wild. It used to be way worse here because we didn't have as many ways to get around, but man, I just wanna get up here. All right, well, since we're over here, I figure I will just try to knock out some of these guys. I have a feeling that it's gonna be a little bit more on the other side, but I figure let's get some extra arrows over there, and then who can I knock out? You, that was pretty nice. Get over this, don't throw your friend at me. Uh oh, don't throw that either. <laughs> uh oh, big trouble, big trouble. Hold on, hold on. Ready and toss. Boom, there you go. Awesome. Uh, I'll try to fight you first. I'll keep with this because, oh, come on, I guess I jumped the wrong way there. Should have jumped backwards. Get back up, Link, you got it. Okay, that's how I jumped backwards and he jabbed forwards. Great. <laughs> That was ridiculous. Uh, come on. That time I dodged it, but no flurry rush. Okay, cool. I'm the worst at this game. Jeez. Just wanna try to dodge in time. It's just not working out. Come on, keep getting you, keep getting you. There we go. And you, see ya. Let's get over here and grab this. Eat this food too, and then I can pick up the sword. Don't quite need it just yet, but I can at least uh, maybe switch to this. Start working on you a little bit. All right, don't knock them off. Then we can't get any of the rewards from it. But if I can just keep jabbing you like that, everybody else throws in a couple of hits. That's it. We get more silver monster stuff. Okay, let's keep climbing. I definitely don't need this gear anymore since the rain has lit up. I will go back to mountain climbing gear. And we gotta find wherever this cave is supposed to be. At this point, I wanna to get to the very top and then fly off from there and just get like a better look at everything. 
I think that's what'll save me the most amount of time and energy. Yep, I know you're up here. It's gotta be not far. And I just was silly and missed it, but I don't know. It's one of those things where it can be really hard to spot them. At least for me. But I'm just not really seeing it anywhere. It must be, okay, is it right here? Oh, here it is, here it is. Okay, that is such a small little spot. I definitely probably even maybe walked past that. Dueling Peaks North Cave, gotcha. Ooh, one shot takedown, I thought it was a silver one. It was not a silver one. Um, What happened to my, here we go, rock hammer. Grab some of this stuff. Buddy, I don't feel like dealing with you, but sometimes. Okay, never mind. thank you. Let's go with this. Two jabs, gets the job done. And then back over to this. Three giant bright bloom seeds is pretty nice. This one too. So this cave has the answer for us right here. So if I make sure I take a picture of this, it's sort of backwards that we should go like this. But this is a cave. We need to make sure we find the bubble gem here as well. Got it. So I think the white circles are gonna be like the ones that are filled in white should be the ones that we need to put the rocks on. Oh, I think I heard it. Did I hear it? Where is that frog at? <laughs> uh, I guess I'll get a bomb flower since it's up here. Ooh, down this way, for sure. No, that's not an entrance. <laughs> see what I mean? It can be so easy to see those and think it's an entrance to like a different part of the cave, but it's not. Where's the froggy at? Did I walk past it before, you know, fighting all these guys? Oh, very possible. Very, very possible. It looks like it's up here. All right. Get up here. Found you. There we go. And that'll be yet another bubble gem. Glad to have it. All right, very cool. Uh, let's get back the other way then. And we can just go over to the other cave. Problem is, is that cave higher up? Is it lower down? If it's higher up, it might be a pain to get to. I think it was up there. Ah, uh, yeah, I think it was up there. Okay, well, before I jump off and I, I'd be silly here, I can just ascend and then just jump over. That's the easiest way to do this. So let's get that done. Just like that. And there it is, ready and waiting for us. So. I'll fly back over. We can refer to the picture as well. And that'll be good. I'll grab that high tail lizard because you could always use some more of those, right? Uh, so, up there. Also, this. I walked right past that before. But this should have a little froggy, right? There you are. Um, Let me just switch over to something like this so I don't have to use an arrow. Gotcha. I'll take that one. Cool. 32. Oh no, hold on Link, hold on. <laughs> Don't fall off. So let's see what else is going on way up here. We should just be able to solve this puzzle and get the first riddle done. They weren't kidding about this being tricky. Uh, So, let's pull up our album. Here's the picture, so it's that. Okay, I think I can figure that out. That was actually, you know, having this one here. This one here. Then will I have to stand on one? I might have to, no, 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 okay, there's another rock over here. And here. And that did it! We solved the puzzle! Nisko's treasure is waiting for us. So cool. So let's run over there and open this up. Okay, so with this one, we get Tingle's shirt. There was once a man who claimed to be the very reincarnation of a fairy. He treasured this shirt and so will you. After all, it's a rather rare find. Cool Olympa.
<laughs> Whatever that means. Misko's treasure, twins manuscript complete. Brothers Dalmadak in prison told you that an old manuscript said what we already read before. You solved the riddle and obtained the treasure. So now it's time for the next one. If we go all the way back up, um, we have the pirate manuscript. So for again, for this one, a forgotten pirate cavern lurks at the foot of Cape Kales, overlooking the Nakluta Sea. The short, shrill song of wind through lips will open the way to my treasure. Okay, so where's the Nakluta Sea? This is the Farron Nakluta Sea Cape. Kales. Have we been around here before? To some degree, yes. Mostly underground, but if we could make our way out here, try to find that pirate cove. Okay, so we're swimming up through the rocks uh, from this one shrine. I don't really know if there's any other better way to get there from here. I think this is good enough. So it should be, yeah, right up here? No? Uh, this direction. So we'll try to get to it as soon as we can. And. I'm guessing it's just gonna be under the cliff. There'll be an opening. I think that makes the most sense too. Whoa. All right, we got some enemies out here. I gotta be careful because I'm pretty low on health, but knock you out really fast. And you have a bow, which probably means you're gonna drop a couple of arrows. Yeah, so we spent one arrow. We get five out of it. Seems like a fair trade. You know what? Let's go bowling. <laughs> Yodobo, come here. And then, if we can, right about there. I missed. <laughs> oh no. Yodobo, you wanna try again? Looks like we have to wait for a sec. Got him, that was cool. Oh no. Gotcha. All right. There we go, that did the job. Let me go over here and grab the arrows. Come on, there it is. I gotta be careful not to get beat up here. Easier said than done. Uh, uh, gotta be careful, cause those things will hurt. We do get a treasure chest out of this one if we can survive it. Did I get any food just from, yes I did. That, and then you know what I could do with some extra speed. Let's do this one, there we go. Uh, beat up you really fast. So we just have the one enemy to worry about, ah, okay. Let me get just like a classic sword and shield combo out here. That's not gonna be this, but I can slam you. Okay, uh, be careful near the explosive barrel, please. All right, uh, back to this, whatever. Uh, we're fine. Don't go near that, what are you doing? All right, if you want that, there you go. You asked for it. Cool. Wait, whoa. That shield was new and then it burned up. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Not good. I wonder what that was. It was probably just one of those, like, hunting shields. Interesting. Have to check that out later. But uh, for now, go ahead and grab this. It has a royal halberd, which we already have, so. Don't know if it was worth all the extra effort, but at least I can grab some of that stuff. And then over here, we defeated this guy. Didn't you drop a bundle of arrows somewhere? I would sure hope so. Looks like up here. Here you go. I think we gained more arrows than we lost out of that whole fight then. I can grab all this fire. And we can keep moving up this way. Yeah, having that speed boost is pretty nice right now. Oh, you know what? I should equip. Uh. Korok mask, because you just, you never know. And I would like to just see if there's any kind of Korok thing around here. Oh, okay, here we go. Yeah, whenever I see a tree like this, I just want to go check it out. Is it up here though? Oh, maybe it's not. It's definitely around here, I'd imagine. It's certainly trying to get my attention. Maybe over here? What's up with this rock? Is there something under it? I don't know, it was just a little, little critter. It's not shaking anymore, so it has to be... Yeah, something with this, for sure. It's not that. Uh, oh, oh, there it is. Right there, gotcha. <laughs> So this is definitely enabling us to get a lot more Korok Siege, which is why I like equipping it. 
So I probably would have ran right by that one and not seen that. I would have taken a quick peek and gone, nope, nothing up here, we can keep moving. Uh, so that's really, really good. Especially since I would like to get as close as we can to max weapon slots before we finish up the game. It'd be very nice for beating the game because I'm sure it's gonna get difficult. Well, I'm guessing it's just talking about you here. I need to reach my friend. Where's your friend at? Because if your friend's on that island, I think I'm gonna say good luck for now. Let's see. Yeah, uh, not gonna happen for right now, but I will put a marker on the map, just for you. That strong one. Uh, there. So my guess, maybe I should save the game before I jump off, but my guess is that the Pirate Cove is right under this thing, because it's at the Nucleta Sea, Cape Kales, let's see. There's a lot of stuff going on here with the descent of this, but right down that way, I'd imagine. Yeah, right over there, I see it. Okay. What else do we have around here? Oh, these are like a lot of nests. I feel really bad taking these, but I could probably make the most out of them. There we go. What's down there? Oh yeah, we've not been down there. They're just different people exploring around. See, I don't see too much more besides these nests. So I think we might just be good to lower ourselves all the way down and try to get to that cave entrance right there. I guess we were supposed to build a boat, but what if I just don't and I fly instead? Looks like I can make it. Discovery. All right, so Cape Kale's Cliff Base Cave. And what did this say? A forgotten pirate cavern lurks at the foot of Cape Kale's, overlooking the Nakluta Sea. The short, trill song of wind through lips will open the way to my treasure. So maybe like whistling? Uh. That worked? Whoa, cool. So we gave that a little whistle. And here we are. Whoa, it's way bigger in here than I expected. Maybe I should have made the boat. <laughs> I guess we still could. If I go here, I could just put a boat together really fast. Nothing too crazy. But if I could just do, that's a beam cycle, monocycle. I guess just the bolt boat. Yeah, let's do bolt boat. Just right over here. Put this all together. And then, I never like how much this weighs everything down, so I'll just drop that. So, because it doesn't really do any damage, too. It's, it's sort of a weird feature. Whoa, look at the pirate ship! And then there's Misko's treasure for sure. Okay, I didn't really need to go too much around in the water, but I still think it's worth it because there's monsters too. There's places to get to. I do also still need to find the, the bubble gem in this cave. So this is all very cool. You get out of here. Big slam on ya. Nice. Uh, none of these are giant ones, but you can get that and that. And let's get over here. Wait a minute. It's not here. What? Where is it? Uh, It must be on the pirate ship. I guess we'll find out. Move through a little bit. See what I can do. I think I just cooked that fish. What if I made my way around behind it? It looks like this little cave over here. So I'll turn this off for a second. And if I can, just climb up here on the, the pirate ship. Come on, got it. Oh, we got some spooky skeletons around here. Whoa, hold on, hold on. I can get a lot of arrows from this, but first, I guess I gotta deal with these guys. All right, you asked for it. I want the less damaging one out of the two because these guys aren't super strong, ow! Give me that back. Okay, this is not what I wanted. Throw the, stop, cut it out! Here, hold on, you're in so much trouble. You get over here. Poke, poke. I just, I don't, I don't like that. There we go. Um, Ooh, can you guys stop it? Get out of here. Jeez. <laughs> stop reanimating. <laughs> there you go. Oh my gosh. So have we ever taken a picture of the Moblin arm? Yes, we have. Okay, so back to this. This should give me a lot of arrows, in theory. 
Oh, there's even a treasure chest back here. Nice. Okay, yeah, huge bundles of arrows. Fantastic. And then what's inside of here? Tingle's tights, we found it. There was once a man who claimed to be the very re reincarnation of a fairy. He treasured these tights, and so will you. After all, they're a rather, a rather rare find. Cool little limpa. All right, so Visco's treasure pirate manuscript completed. You solved the riddle and obtained the treasure. Isn't that great? I didn't mean to get this, but pick up that moblin horn. And of course, we still need to find the a frog somewhere here, which we will. Let me get that guy first, then see if there's anything cool up here. Oh, there's another treasure chest up here, and of course another host of boxes, which if we can just get more arrows out of that, I'd be happy to do that. Okay, what's inside of this one? Uh, Savage Lionel Bow? Whoa, treasure indeed. Drop the spiked Boko Bow. And beat you up, because I don't want to deal with it. Um, I don't think yeah, I have the space for the soldier's claymore. Don't think I can get down there either. So really my main goal is just to, okay, uh, break this stuff. Come on, Link. Got another bundle of five arrows there. This is a really nice spot just to get some easy arrows. I wonder it was a bundle of 10 arrows actually. Nice. Bundle of five and an extra one there. So maybe I could come back here every once in a while. Once uh we get, you know, something like the the blood moon to restore all of these. That could be a good idea. So what am I up to now? 164. Okay, so my boat's still here. I'm going to climb back on top of it and ride it over in this direction. I also see a treasure chest here. Whoa. Let's uh, pick that up, and I guess just put it here if I can for a second. Doesn't weigh down my boat, which is great. I can just open it, please. Open it, thank you. And that gives us a royal broadsword. Don't know if I need it, actually. All right, get out of here. <laughs> Back onto the boat. I do see this little frog friend. And once we get you, I think we're good. Oh, come on. Are you serious? Come on. Uh, oh, not good. Gotcha. Hopefully I can grab it. Uh, ooh. It's right there. Can't quite reach it. Uh, I don't know if I can grab it. It doesn't matter, because I can just do that. Awesome. So, 33 of them. If we back up now, I just need to figure out the third one, which is going to be here. Gotta go all the way up. Um, this goes treasure, heroine's manuscript. Statues of the eight heroines reside in the desert. Enter the valley carved in the Hemar's descent and shine the light of day upon the towering eighth. The path to the treasure will open before you. So I'll do that, but first, I'm gonna go heal up at our house. So it said something about Himar's descent and the statue of the eighth heroine. So I'm pretty sure this is what we're trying to get to. If we double check it one more time, statues of the eight heroines reside in the desert, enter the valley carved in the Himar's descent and shine the light of day upon the towering eighth. The path to the treasure will open before you. So I don't know how we get the light of day there, but I figure it might be something that'll become more obvious once we get over. So it should be right over here. We got an army of pebbles chasing. Okay, that's not good. <laughs> Ow. Rude. Uh, you know what? You know what? Would this knock them all out in one hit? Okay, cool. Thanks. <laughs> I'm just trying to turn around. Gotcha. Oh, that just turns them into normal pebbles. I'm not gonna worry about that. Save that for later. Uh, so yeah, let's check this out. This is the statue of the eighth heroine. Whoa. Okay, it's definitely, you can already see it's in there. So, Obviously, if we had to do anything, it's probably just waiting until daytime, right? It's 6 a.m. in the game right now. And the sun should be coming out any moment. So if we could maybe just go up here for a bit and see what's going on. I can imagine that maybe I'm just supposed to use a mirror, right? That's the thing I have, right? There's a lot of these now. Uh, mirror. Let me take out one. 
Whoa, and instantly it's reflecting. So what happens if I were to, oh yeah, there we go. Hold on, it's a little bit of a tricky angle from here. Uh, but it lit up for a second, you could see that. Maybe I should try to find a different spot for it. Oh, hi. Uh, here, drop it down here. That's too far. That's uh, much too far. Uh, could I maybe get it to come back? Uh, no. <laughs> uh, that's okay. Maybe I could just get another one. I have 18 of them after all. I grabbed this one. See, this one's not catching any sunlight from this angle. That's what's making this tough. Uh, but if I could do it from way over here. Oh, we got one over here. So that was definitely supposed to be what I was supposed to do. But um, this angle might prove to be a little bit more useful if I could just, there we go. Once again, it's about just there. Is that not quite working? This is tough so far. I guess what I could do is, what if I pointed it upwards like this and then pointed it back down? I just feel like that's gonna make me run into the same issue I had before. Uh, that stinks because it looks like it's matching up. But apparently it's not. And the sun is moving. Like, look, you see it's about to go away. That makes that increasingly difficult. Hmm. What's that over there? Oh, no, this is a rock. It was just highlighted orange because I had this mode on. Interesting. If I could get back up that way, like maybe, I just feel like, I feel like there's gotta be a better way to do this. Maybe from up that way. And obviously I have a couple of these. If I could chain them up, that feels smarter. And if it's giving them to me here, it clearly intends for me to use them here, right? It's gotta be fast, like daylight's burning. And you can see the shadows from the clouds and stuff too, I think. I think? What is that a shadow coming from? Yeah, yeah, it's definitely from a cloud. But now it's not working at all, even though it's in the, cause, okay, it'll work, but if I leave it, will it stay? Here's open. Uh, getting a little bit closer now. That looks like a direct shot, right? Here we go, here we go, here we go. Got it. Okay, we found a way through. That was definitely a tricky one. So now it'll stay open, which is great. What is that? Oh, it's a Korok. Presumably one I have found. If you're just chilling out there like that. When did I find you? I guess I found you at some point. Well, have a nice day. Uh, might be a little bit difficult to get up here, but I found my way through. Thank you, there we go. So. What's going on in here? Of course, this is a new discovery statue of the eighth heroine cave. Cool. Oh no! Hi. Oh no. Uh, that sort of helped. Okay, good. Uh, yeah, sure. Use this. There we go. I defeated you. Spooky. Is there gonna be more of those guys? Of course there will be. I don't know if I want to deal with them too much, especially when I could just get collectibles instead. Oh, there's so many. Oh, there's so many. Um, Tulin, can you wanna help, wanna help me out with this? Uh, Tulin is helping, that's great. I wanted him to, to blow dust on this, just to see what's under it. Oh, Ruby, nice, I'll take it to get back here. <laughs> uh, a lot of these enemies might not be worth worrying about, but if I could get Tulin to come over here, just like that, no, no, no. Uh, get off of this thing. Ew. It looks like it's right here. I just need Tulin to blow it away. There we go. Open this up. Is it finally the, the final piece of Tingle's outfit? Tingle's hood. There was once a man who claimed to be the very reincarnation of a fairy. He treasured this hood and so will you. After all, it's a rather rare find. Kulu Limpa. All right, so the Musco's treasure heroine's manuscript is completed. We solved the puzzle. That's what I'm sure it's gonna say, but there's more to survive here. Um, Tulin, help me out, buddy. Tulin, Tulin, over here. Let's see what this one has. Uh, nothing. All right, well that's cool. I don't think there's much more in this cave besides the, the frog, which would be over here. So once again, we need our little feathered friend. 
Come on, come on. Got it. Here. That's gotta be it. What's going on inside of here? It's so spooky. There you are. I'll do that. Our hammer broke. It's fine now. Gotcha. I don't know if I have anything else right now that would be a good breaking weapon. I think I need to get a new one. Oh, wait a minute, I got this broadsword. If I could just find a rock at some point. But these are normal uh, sort of things, so I don't have to worry about it. 34 bubble gems, that's pretty cool. Let's get out of here then. We have found and completed the full set. Let's go ahead and get that equipped so we can take a good look at it. So we have Tingle's hood, Tingle's tights, and then wherever it went. Um, Let's see. Right here, Tingle's shirt. And we get night speed up. So cool. So with the full Tingle set, I want to go back to the two brothers we started this conversation with and see what they have to say now. Okay, so let's see if the two brothers are still over here. And if they are, maybe they will give us a new quest now that we've completed this one. I'm a little doubtful, but uh, let's see for ourselves. So one now. Hey guys, look familiar. Oh. Doc, the guy's back. Oh. Hi. What is it? We already told you all the old manuscripts had to say. I found the treasure. Oh. You did? You're kidding me. Oh. You really mean it? Never thought you'd go and find it before we did. Wait, are you wearing the treasure now? Oh. That's so cool. Man, I'm jealous. I admit, that kind of stinks, but so be it. There are other treasures out there. Yeah, and we'll get the next one. You'll see. Where should we look next, Stack? Hold on, I'm thinking. Huh. Listen, you, that's the last morsel of information you're getting out of us. We'll see about that. Maybe we can run into them some other spot or something like that. That's pretty cool. All right, so glad that we got that done. At this rate then, is there anything more I really wanna do? I guess, uh. We can look around for some more shrines. We should have some markers. It looks like we have one over here. So I'll try to fly across to this one. And then I think there was one over here too that we haven't found. So yeah, let's get to work on some of that stuff. So I'm actually seeing not one, but two shrines over this way. That's not the one I have on my marker. I wanna go do this one first, which it looks like it's gonna be a shrine quest. But you know what, I'm up to the task. We'll figure it out. I haven't been over here too much. It looks like I've flown over it once but then maybe we can get down that way and get two more out of the way. That wouldn't be so bad of an idea. So we'll just work on what we can work on here. I mean, usually with a shrine quest comes another cave, and I'd imagine that's somewhere nearby because I see one of those things. So first things first, I'll fly over this way, and we'll get this all set up. And then we will see, it looks like, yeah, there's a cave right there. Right here, the Mamosik Shrine in Elden Canyon. Let's see what the quest is gonna be. Seek the crystal connected to the beam and offer it at the shrine. Do so and I will grant you a light that banishes evil. All right, so the Death Caldera Crystal. It seems that you can enter a shrine of light if you can offer up a crystal. Follow the ray of light and offer up the crystal at the shrine. So of course, that should be right over here. Pretty simple. So, we'll definitely get to that. It's not nighttime for this tingle gear to actually like, help me out just yet, but have I gotten a picture of you? I have. Uh, I don't mind too much just going over here, getting some rupees. Oh, or not. Come on. Okay, I'll, I'll take the one. That's all we'll get there. I know you're firing rocks at me, yeah, yeah, yeah get a decent chunk of rupees back. And it looks like Yanobo really needs to get to work on this one. Are you serious? <laughs> Doesn't seem like he wants to get to work on this one. We have a lot of Lionel those, so I could do something like that. That really helps. All right, Yanobo, are you ready? Now you are. And the darker blue rocks like this typically tend to be stronger, it seems. But all right, we've made it. Discovery. We are in the Death Mountain East Tunnel. It's gonna be super duper hot in here, so I think it's worth it to, uh, that, that looks so silly with Tingle's hood. <laughs> All right, um, I think I'll do that, and I gotta keep this equipped wherever I can. Are we taking heat damage still? Do I need to get the full setup? Uh, no, I think we're fine. 
Whoa, so I think I have to ride the minecart. I have to make my own here. A little bit of a setup, so I'll do that in just a second. Looks like, is there somebody over there? Doesn't seem like it. All right, over here then, excuse me. Just wanna attach that to the back of this and get this on the rail. This is always fun. Boom, got it. It's a little off center, but I think it'll get the job done. And we're moving. So it looks like, yeah, there's probably something over here I should get super fast. Hold on. Get back here. All right, turn that off. And then we'll get back to it in a moment. But for now, is there gonna be a little frog in here? Gotcha. Oh, I still have the Lionel bow equipped. Let's change it to that. And if I see any kind of stone I can attach with this, that'd be great. There we go. Boom, bubble gem number 35. It keeps going and going. Because if not, it's, just, it's a lot of swings to break these if I don't get a rock. Which, if I don't see any, none of these are like the golden fancy kind, so I think it's fine. Okay. Over here, do more of the same. But it's crazy how many bubble gems we've been getting. It seems like there's still plenty more in the world to get, but getting a little bit closer every single time is fantastic. Let's get over here, and here's what I'm looking for. Oh my, I see what this is. It's an igneo talus. Can I just like grab it and wiggle it off of there? I can't. I do this the old fashioned way. With the bomb. Ow, I forgot. I forgot it works like that. Ah, I'm in the lava too. You're kidding me. So no, no, no bomb bombs or just bombs. They're not bombs. That's Mario. Uh, okay. And that didn't even hurt him. Oh, come on. I mean, I can hit it like that and try to knock you over. Oh no. Uh, what if I used, I can't imagine this douse as much. Uh, well, ow. Uh, it's sort of working, I'm climbing up here. No, I'm not. Come on. That's, are you serious? Come on, <laughs> what was that? I'm just trying to climb up the thing. Okay. No bob bomb this time. I don't know why I'm calling the bob bombs. There's no bomb this time. I'm just hitting you with this, and so far, pretty, working pretty nicely. But if I were to just toss one of these, like that, and then get ready, because you're gonna toss one of those at me, right? Oh, you won't even, you won't even. This is my chance, just to go crazy on you. I don't really have too much. Mm. You know what, sure, I'll use this even. That should do a ton of damage too, so. Obviously, I lose a heart with each swing, but they're not hearts I have anyways, so. No, oh, come on. Can't believe that. I'm so sick of you right now. Run, run, run. And then I know what you're about to do, and I'm not a fan of it, so I'm sending it right back at you. And fall over, please. Thank you. Gotcha. <laughs> Why did that have to be so difficult? Who knows? Let's see what we get out of it. I should get some, ooh, yeah. Uh, that's actually really good, because I confused that, I guess with this, is my only two-hander here that I want to combine it with. Yeah, let's go for it. I, I mean, it's not even, it's, it's just a single-handed weapon, but with the, here, let's pick up everything else around it so I don't make a huge blunder here. Can I fuse that stuff? No, I can't. I was gonna say, it'd be very surprising. The Igneo Talus Heart, just like that. It gives 27 extra damage, which is nice, but I just need to get this back on the minecart. We are getting out of here. So, maybe about there. Here, and on to there. Let's go with it. No, wrong. There we go. So that must mean that there's an ice talus too. If there is, we haven't found that yet. That definitely has me curious. I'm just gonna ride this all the way down. We have completed this, oh, <laughs> we've completed this cave, which is great. I will grab this and rush it all the way over to the shrine, which will hopefully, if we're lucky, just be a Raru's blessing. I do wanna get the Quark Seed mask back on. I try to get that on as soon as I can remember to so we're not missing out on anything. 
Just gotta get all the way over here. Do you see you over there? I'm gonna try to just avoid you. I think we'll be fine. Alright, almost there. And then we'll get this shrine quest done. I'll try to maybe tackle one more shrine after this. No, we haven't got, you know, there's the two others that were in the distance, I remember now. We definitely wanna go get those. You who offers to crystal, I will grant you a light that banishes evil. So yeah, this is great. So it seems like a lot of the shrines we've really haven't gotten around to finding are usually just shrine quest related ones. I'm sure there's still plenty scattered around that we just haven't stumbled upon that aren't though. It just matter of time until we find them. Boom, right there. We're definitely getting a whole lot closer as well to just maxing out all of our stamina and hearts as far as it goes. I'm pretty sure this game is like Breath of the Wild where you can't get both full hearts and full stamina. You have to choose one, but I guess we'll see soon enough. The Death Caldera Crystal. You offered up the crystal you earned by defeating the Igneo Talus on the East Gallery of Death Mountain. And you can now enter the Shrine of Light. Enter the shrine in order to acquire the Light of Blessing. I will do just that. All right, let's see what we get out of this blessing for the Mamo Sick Shrine. Looks like it's gonna be a big battery. That one's maybe not the most exciting. Any of the things I can get a bunch of out of the capsules, not gonna be the huge prize I was hoping for, but that's okay. All right, so with that shrine done, like I said, we found a couple over here. Oh, you know what? I'm pretty sure that one minigame is over here. I don't know if we'll have quite the time to do that one today, but we can at least get over there to get the shrine. And then maybe we can do that like next episode or something. That'd be fun. All right, let's get over there soon then. Two more shrines left to tackle. I definitely wanna get them done sooner rather than later. Okay. So where was it exactly? That was the Octorok Eye thing. So there should be one shrine down this way and one shrine over there, if I'm not mistaken. Obviously from this angle, it's, it's harder to find them which is why I should have put markers on them. I don't know why I didn't. I'm so used to not having them now. Is there one down there? Oh, there is one down there. I found that one. Okay, never mind. I was gonna say, how did I not get that one? So obviously I don't need a marker for this if this is what I'm heading towards, but that's one of them. I think there was another on another spot, right? Like, am I getting this mixed up? I definitely saw two before. Hmm. Okay, well at least I can get this one. I'll have to find that other one soon. Just wanna keep flying down here and at least get this. Yeah, there's definitely, I remember that being a thing in Breath of the Wild. Some kind of crazy thing. So I at least wanna set up the shrine to get here again, then we'll do that some other time. All right, almost there. What shrine is this gonna be? Obviously this one's not gonna be a Raru's Blessing, so I have to do a little bit of work when it comes to actually the Kimayat Shrine. Let's see what it is. Ooh, so this one we have no armor. This shrine imprisons and purifies the ancient evil. We'll just have to do some good old fighting, which, you know, that can be fun. Outside equipment is forbidden beyond this point. All right. So, Proving Grounds, smash. I get some arrows. I get the old wooden bow, which I'm pretty sure we've gotten a picture of before. Yep, it's not a bow that pops up too often, so I never remember and I have to check. So what's up with this? Oh, uh, I can't quite reach it from here. I was gonna say, we might be able to get up this sh some shenanigans over there. Uh, if I could, <laughs> even better, hold on. Uh, oh, come on. Uh, let's not waste it. The uh, there we go, gotcha. You're in trouble. Just gonna stab away at you and grab whatever we can out of that. Come on, very cool. You over here, you're the next one. Oh no, this is getting crowded. There's somebody behind me. Ah! Okay, I can maybe hit two of them at once, which would be great, but that's damage. Let me go ahead and drop that uh, here and then switch to this one. And before you beat me up, please, uh, there. I wanna hit both of you at once if possible, and that guy over there is shooting arrows at me. Great. 
Not good, not good. Okay, right here. I sort of got two of them at once for a bit. This is maybe not the most productive way to do this. If I get over here, grab all these, and that's not what I wanted to do. Come on. There we go, I froze one of them. At least give me, gives me some time to maybe, ah, come on, get out of here. I'm gonna keep eating you up, especially while the other guy's frozen. Just a little bit more. Gotcha. Jeez, why was that so tough? Now, that was a soldier construct, two horn. So, that's gonna be pretty damaging, I think. So, if we wanna drop that, yeah, eight fuse power, drop it here, do that, and then huge slam onto you. That's what I'm talking about. Grab whatever you got. Keep it moving. What's up here? Ooh. Ooh. Hold on. I got these two things. I guess what I could do is I could fuse one here. I sort of have an idea. If I were to get over this way. I know, you guys wanna beat me up. And I were just to toss it. That didn't work. Uh, can I get that back? Thank you very much. I guess I could also just knock you guys into the water. That's probably the better idea, huh? Gotcha. Oh, one more shot on you. Gotcha. And then here, into the water. That was a way better idea. <laughs> okay, the things I was dreaming up were way different, but your equipment will be returned to you. If we could have broken that, that would have sent the whole platform into the water and basically had the same effect. That's fine though. That was still a pretty fun fight. I like that one. So. Let's get out of here and finish this one up. They don't even give us some materials on the little trees. <laughs> they don't want you taking anything that you got here. Okay, right up here, I will open up this treasure. Let's see what we get, hopefully something good. Captain Four Reaper, 55 damage sword. That is actually pretty good, so happy to take that one. Okay, so there's only one other shrine I have like marked here on the surface that I haven't quite done, and it's somewhere here. It must have been in a cave or something, maybe I'm wrong, but near Oakle's Naval, I figure we'll take this uh, Skyview Tower and just fly over. As I'm flying down, I find a star fragment. We're sort of start earning up a little bit of a collection of those. Uh, I still don't really know what to do with them too much, but I'm sure there might be something to upgrade with them. So it's somewhere around here, huh? When did I mark this one on my map? Cause I don't know where it is. Supposedly, there's one around here, so maybe it's in a cave or something? I'm not seeing it at a glance, but it would be odd to see this one in a cave and not just do it. So it might be on the surface somewhere, just in an angle I can't see it at the moment. We still have a little bit to go before we reach it. So who knows? Definitely a bit odd though. Oh, you know what? I think there's like a hollow underbelly to this whole surface area. Gotcha, I think that's what it is. Also, I did notice down here we have um, the fairy, the great fairy. Maybe now's a good time to upgrade some gear. I've been meaning to for a while. I feel like we've earned up some extra stuff, so maybe now I can do it. What is this? Oh, that is just a monster chilling out. Have I really been around here too much? Not really. I must have gone under, yeah, when traveling. And spotted some stuff. For right now, we need to go down here. And what is that? That's a little Korok that I already have marked on, marked on my map. So, see the proactivity helps. Oh, hey! Kilton, Colton, whatever his name is. Maybe I could ch catch up with him too. Because, you know, it'd be fun. <laughs> I have a lot of bubble gems right now, a ton of them. I don't know if there's any other prizes, but maybe he'd be kind enough to let me know of how many I have left. Hi. Good evening, traveler, it's a fine night. Yes, very fine. Though you know, perhaps it's because of all the bubble gems I've gobbled up. But I can at last sense the presence of each and every bubble frog across the vastness of Hyrule. I admit, of course, I don't know, exa ex know exactly where they are. Still, I can send 66 bubble frogs out there. Uh, I must collect everyone. 
I will focus my senses and try searching for bubble frogs. Burn. Near here, yes, quite near. I sense bubble frogs, bubble frog romps somewhere west of Robred drop off. That's all I can say about that. Interesting, so we still have a lot left to find. 66 of them was way more than I was anticipating. Why is this game so humongous? <laughs> so maybe down here is where I can find. Oh, Korok seed? Yeah, Korok seed somewhere near here. Uh, oh, there. Gotcha. I never would have thought about looking up there. Very cool. So that's 24 of them. Where is this thing now? I think I figured that it would be like under here, but no. Huh, maybe down this way? Oh, I sort of remember this house. Yeah, by Fort Hateno. I sort of remember where we are now. But not much of a sign of where this shrine is. How did, how did I see this? I must have flown over it or something. There's a beehive there, I don't wanna get stung. Uh, all right, I'll grab that one. <laughs> I don't see where we go to get this thing. I'm very confused. Oh, maybe here? No, I thought that was the entryway of a cave. I don't see anything, this is so odd. Uh, There had to be a point in time, like I've never been up here this way. Could I have just missed it from a weird angle? All right, what do you want? Get out of here. <laughs> I'm not dealing with you. I'll get all this food though. Nice, a whole bunch of raw prime meat. That's really, really good. It's gotta be just up here and I just missed it. I mean, I guess if it's a shrine quest, I was looking for the glow of it. It won't be glowing if it's a shrine quest. It'll just be the ring. Is that what I missed? Uh, I'm so confused. Maybe there really just isn't a shrine here. I just marked it by mistake. But if it's not here, like, I'm, what did I do? <laughs> what? I don't think there's a shrine over here. So yeah, I think I might have maybe marked this by mistake somehow. Maybe I was trying to mark another shrine and I just missed it. I'm not really seeing much. So I think that maybe we'll just tap out of this situation for now. Unless I can see anything else around here. I mean, right down here, this is, oh, hey. We can at least find a cave. Let's go for you. Get some extra rupees out of it. Okay, only three times is all I need there. Whoa, we get a purple one? That actually makes it really worth it. We get over 50. Very cool. And there's a cave for us. So, I mean, hey, maybe we can find one in here. And I remove that. So I definitely need to just you know, make something out of this. After this, we'll go and upgrade some gear. Oh, and there's a Koroxy nearby again. Where exactly? Discovery. Okul's Naval Cave. Huh. Okay. Going down this way a little bit, and there's a shrine. Okay. Uh, hi. How can I fight you? Uh, let's use this one. Let's see what you got. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I beat you up before you fire any lightning balls at me. That's great. Got it. And a bunch of arrow bundles. Got it, got it, got it. Let's see what we get inside of this one. Eightfold blade, don't need it. I'm leaving it. See ya. There's a shrine crystal in here. Where does the shrine crystal go? <laughs> what? Okay. Well, before I get too carried away with that, it's a cave. There should be a bubble frog somewhere in here. Uh, where exactly, though? I didn't see it on the way in, so I would think it's somewhere in this big room. If I pick this up, will it give me any kind of guide on where it's supposed to? Will moving it off like <laughs> trigger some kind of trap? No. Game's being very confusing today. Very, very confusing. Uh, Let me back it up a little bit. There's no like entryway up there or anything like that. Doesn't seem like it. So if I backtrack a little, I was very focused on the like-like. It could be that there is 
another opening over here, but I'm not seeing it. How weird is it that I found the, the crystal before I found the shrine? Oh, whoa! Follow the beam to its end and offer the crystal there. Do so and I will offer you a light that banishes evil. I was just gonna pick it up. The Okul's Naval Cave Crystal. It seems that you can enter a Shrine of Light if you offer up a crystal. Follow the Ray of Light and offer up the crystal to the Shrine. What is this? Whoa! There's rocks falling all over the place. Uh, it feels like it'd be smarter to just pick it up this way. Yeah, I can actually move a little bit faster with that. And then, when these rocks fall, whoa, I can try to dodge them. This is interesting, this is intense. Uh, okay, try to move it, try to move it. So far, we haven't been mowed over. That's good. Then I'll have to backtrack through here to make sure I actually get the, the bubble frog, right? Maybe it's back here? It's not. I mean, there is a little pedestal here, but I don't think that's what I'm looking for. Keep it moving through this way. Ooh, okay. That's gonna be, that's gonna be it, I think. Bubble frog in here, yep. Found ya. Go ahead and, oh, you get back here. Gotcha. <laughs> Didn't even need the arrow. And that is number 36, or I guess now, 65 remaining to find. Oh, man. Well, one at a time, right? We found a good, like, what, three, four, five of them today? So if we could find, on average, six a video, that would be 11 more episodes until we have them all. Oh, no. Oh, wait. Get back over there. <laughs> no, wait, okay, thank you. <laughs> I just snuck around. That was so silly, but we finally did it. We got it all the way over here, and we did it. The to Taki, the Toki Shrine? Very cool. You who offers the crystal, I will grant you a light that banishes evil. Cool. So, definitely not the easiest one we've done. But uh, I'm glad it's done. So I don't know, obviously, I don't know what that marker was for, what I was trying to mark if I just had misclicked something at some point, but we found a shrine out of it anyways just by looking around, and that's good. So let's head into this one, which will most likely be a Roro's Blessing, but I'll also read this right here, the Ukul's Naval Cave Crystal. You offered up a crystal and can now enter the Shrine of Light hidden in Okul's Naval Cave. Enter the shrine in order to acquire the Light of Blessing. Unfortunately, this never answered the question of who's Okul? <laughs> Who knows? So let's see what we get out of this Raru's Blessing. This will definitely be the last one of today. All right, the Taki Shrine. Large Zonai Charge. So I feel like the, the Raru's Blessing rewards recently haven't been crazy, but I guess the reward more than anything is one extra shrine completed and another light of blessing. Okay, so I don't know how much in terms of materials we currently have to upgrade here, but I figure we'll take a look and we'll see for ourselves. We have defeated a couple of Hinoxes since we've last been here, and I know that Hinox guts were the big thing we needed to upgrade our current armor, um, or at least not our current armor, but like our our mm -hmm. most used armor way up here. Unfortunately, oh no, it is enough, awesome, so we could do two out of these three. And if I were to do any two, I guess I would do the soldier's armor and greaves. That way, if I want to wear the quark mask, I still can. Let's get this done. Three stars for the soldier's armor. Sounds like such a good idea. So let's go for that. All right, let me do my thing. So if we can hunt down more Hinoxes soon, that'd be a really good idea. Ah, not good. I guess that's the last upgrade animation. Soldier's armor has been upgraded to three stars. Yes, done. Hope you like it. Do you want me to enhance any other clothes? Yes. Mm -hmm. So, there's a four star? I thought it maxed out at three. I guess not. For this one, we would need Lionel Guts? You're kidding me. And we also can upgrade this one, the Soldier's Creeps. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's up to 18 armor. That's still fantastic. Mm -hmm. So we just have to hunt down a lot more Lionels. Oh. Mm -hmm. I mean, if we make sure it's specifically base level Lionels, maybe that wouldn't be too bad but this can be up to three stars, so that's now a lot more armor. We just gained 12 armor between those two things. Mm -hmm. So I can't get this one because I just don't have the thing for it, but there are other upgrades we can get here. 
Um, I don't know if I want to get like too into it because you know it would just take a lot of time. But I think one of the main things is you know something like this. Getting this up would maybe improve our climb speed. Uh, but the thing I wanted to upgrade the most would be this stuff over here, the froggy armor. Because apparently if we can get this mm. higher level, we can maybe just make it so it's easier to climb up. So let's use some of this. And we've seen these before, so I'll just skip the little cutscenes. So froggy hood is gonna go up a little bit. One star. And then we're gonna enhance again. Uh, now it needs horrible and horn and sticky lizard. But before I do, let me just go ahead and try to find the other ones. The horrible and horn, sticky lizard. Mm. So definitely getting more mm. horrible and horns and sticky lizards is gonna be the most mm. important thing. It also costs 50 rupees, so. There we go. Gives it a little bit of extra defense. Not really much for me to be worried about that mm. too much, but let's do this mm. one. Mm. All right. Much better, the froggy leggings are now at the one star. Ah. But I think we need to mm. keep doing it over and over. Yeah, that's sort of the problem is it's just gonna ask for more sticky lizards. So I won't be able to get everything three stars, but it's at least a little bit closer. And that's why it's good just to collect everything we can find. We go into caves all the time. There's sticky lizards all over the place. We can end up getting more of them if we need it. So I definitely need to do that soon. Right now I will upgrade. I could just get it to three stars now. Oh, now it wants a sticky frog. So I mean, yeah, there's maybe some still I can do. Actually, yeah, I should be fine. Well, no, this one also, yeah, I got both of these in two stars, didn't I? So this one needs the second star, and then we're good for that first, you know, set of stars there. I definitely don't have enough for that full set of a three star, but I can try. Enhance away. It would need blue, horrible, and horn, and I would need one more sticky frog to get everything up to three stars. Darn. I could definitely find that over time, but... And that's where things like, you know, the sensor are really important. There we go. With this level of quality, it's hardly recognizable. Enhance away. Let's do this. Got it. So this is the last one I can do for a bit until I can find another sticky frog. And there's other upgrades I could go for. All right. So let's see what else mm -hmm. we can enhance. I'm running out of rupees, that was the other big thing. Interesting that I can upgrade like the Vamado Divine Helm and stuff like that. Very interesting. Some of this stuff you can't enhance, uh, but you know, some of it you can. So it really shows that I probably, uh, especially with these things, they all need star fragments to upgrade and they need different scales sometimes. So it's crazy what they expect from you to upgrade this stuff. But I feel like it's mostly worth it to save for the things I use the most. Which is mostly, you know, like climbing gear, things like that. Speaking of which, I haven't upgraded too much. Let's try this out then. Electric key swing, hightail lizard. Ah. Let's try the climber's bandana. Mm. But I guess mostly we're after Lionel's guts now. No more high knock stuff. We're all good mm. with that. We just need Lionel Guts, which is gonna be way harder to get. Um, okay, so I can get this one. This is just so expensive. Okay, so one more time. Enhance away. Here, so what is it? Now it needs Ice Key Swing. So Ice Keys are definitely not as easy to find. Okay, so these I got at the two stars. This one I never upgraded beyond, you know, its base form here. So let's go ahead and upgrade that. And with each form we get, the more rupees it requires too. So, one more time, enhance away, just like this. Okay, so with that done, I think that's all the upgrades we'll do for right now because I'm running out of rupees in a serious way. But definitely, you know, across everything, bubble gems, gear upgrades, we're getting somewhere. We're really getting somewhere. I think if there's one last thing I could do today, it's just gonna be going back home so that we can cash in our two uh, heart pieces. All right, well, we did a pretty good job today. I just went ahead right down here and get some upgrades. We should have eight orbs from all of our shrines, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, so we'll get a heart container and then another one, making us a little bit stronger, which we definitely need. So there we go. 
Cool. And we'll just do that one more time. So, our container. Wait, no, no. That's not what I wanted. <laughs> Hold on, our container again. Now I will get the, the quickened cutscene. So, yeah, we'll get this. We'll get some extra hearts. And then I think next episode, I wanna take a little break from doing all these side quests and maybe just explore around a little bit. I was thinking it's been a while since we've just gone to the sky and gotten a bunch of sky islands done. I really wanna see how much progress we can make with the sky islands next episode. Get up there, go to different islands I've been meaning to get to and see if we can't get some of the shrine quests done up there too. That would be awesome. So there we go, another heart container. We seem to be in a pretty good spot. So hopefully that can continue in the next episode of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.